This video is brought to you by Skillshare. October 2020, on a cold morning in Charleston, South Carolina, Mike Winkleman, known to the art world as People, was in his home studio staring at his computer screen. For over 14 years, Beeple had been creating a piece of digital art every single day, his everyday's project, as he called it. It was a reflection of discipline, creativity, and evolution as an artist. But today, he wasn't just uploading his latest work to Instagram, like he usually did, because he was about to make history. Beeple had heard about the rising buzz about NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, and how different artists were finally able to sell digital art as unique and collectible items. At the time, he just made an art piece called Crossroad, and due to his popularity, he sold it for a price of $66,666, which was later resold for $6.6 .6 million on Nifty Gateway. The crazy thing is that before NFTs, the average price of his art was just a hundred dollars. Realizing there is a great potential in NFTs, he then sold his first official NFT collection on Nifty Gateway, which included a series of works such as the complete MF collection, The Infected, and Into the Ether. The collection was sold out in under five minutes and marked his official entry into the world of NFTs. This NFT collection was sold in December 2020, just a couple of months after the first one for a staggering $3.5 million. Then people had a crazy idea. What if he gathered all 5,000 days of his everyday's project into one digital collage? And what if he sold the collection as an NFT? Little did he know that this single decision would change his life forever. The idea became everyday's. The first 5,000 days, a sprawling digital mosaic of Beeple's artistic journey from 2007 to 2021. And on March 11, 2021, the artwork sold for an eye-popping $69.3 million at Christie's auction house after a 14-day bid. This marked a moment that would send shockwaves through both the art world and the cryptocurrency community. And overnight, Beeple became one of the most valuable living artists in history. So was Beeple lucky, smart, or had something that other people didn't have? We're gonna answer these questions and more, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we continue, whether you are a student, employee, or running your own business, managing your life is always a challenge especially if you are a creator trying to squeeze in time for your projects. I've struggled with this myself. That's why I'm going to tell you about this Skillshare training to help you manage your time better. In case you don't know by now, Skillshare is the largest online learning platform offering multiple categories of classes like film, illustration, animation, design, you name it. Everything is there. Recently, I found a course by Ali Abdel on Skillshare focused on staying productive as a creator and as an artist, with strategies for managing your time, attention, and ideas. I highly recommend checking it out. And if time management is not your concern, there are tons of other courses and classes out there that you can explore. Plus, the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a one-month free subscription to Skillshare and access as many classes as you want. Beeple started his famous piece every day in May of 2007, but unlike his VJ's clips, he didn't intend for it to get all the recognition it eventually had. The every days was just Mike drawing one piece of every day with the sole purpose of improving his drawing skills. Yeah, it started on May 1st, 2007, so it's it's been a sec here, but I just wanted to get better. And I started out doing drawings and they were not very good and I wanted to get better at it. And that's why I'm still doing it today. I still really want to get better. We, we have your first... So after a year of drawing, he wanted to learn how to use a 3D program and he settled on Cinema 4D. As a consequence, 
the one drawing a day to improve his drawing skills transformed into one render a day with the same concept. He continued with the one render a day for years and he didn't stop and he even made a fast picture the day his daughter was born. I'm sure as a 3D artist, you're wondering how can he make a render every day because it is a lot of work. But the trick is he used ready-made assets to compose his renders. It is not about the assets or the models but the final render he said. And he once said that opening his 3D software feels like opening a big toy box. He's just playing with his models, changing parts of them, just like a kid taking a head of a toy and putting it in another one. His dedication to his work caught a lot of attention, especially in the art community, which earned him millions of followers. Mike is considered one of the originators of the current everyday movement in the 3D graphics community. And he had been creating a picture every day from the start to finish and posting it online for over 10 years without missing a single day. In 2020, Beeple's world changed forever after discovering NFTs. He was introduced to the concept by fellow artist Pac. NFTs were a new way for digital artists to sell their work as unique blockchain verified assets. They represented a game changer for digital art because, for the first time, they allowed artists to establish true ownership and scarcity of their creations in the digital realm. At the time, despite having a massive online following, the most people sold his art for was a hundred bucks, which is a problem that was solved by NFTs. In 2021, people started selling NFTs and his first two pieces were sold in auction at ETH Denver and more pieces were sold after on Nifty Gateway in November 2021. One of the pieces that caught a lot of attention was Crossroad that sold for $66,000 as I said before and later was resold for $6.7 million in February of 2021. Crossroad was particularly interesting because it featured a dynamic animation that would change based on the outcome of the 2020 US presidential election. The one sale that really put people out there and turned all the world's attention to him was his 14 years long collage, Every Day's The First 5000 Days. The compilation of his Every Day's challenge to himself was sold for a whopping $69 million at Christie's auction in March 2021 and the auction was exclusively held online and lasted for 14 days. This was the first NFT to be sold by a legacy auction house and is the first sale at Christie's that was sold using cryptocurrency. This clearly highlighted the growing intersection between traditional art markets and the blockchain technology. The buyer was Vagnesh Sandarisan also known as Marakovan. This one is a cryptocurrency investor and the founder of Metaverse NFT project. For him, the purchase was a statement about the value of digital art in the 21st century. People didn't stop with every days. In November 2021, he unveiled Human One, a seven foot high generative sculpture that represents his next big step as an artist. Human One is a hybrid physical digital artwork and it is a futuristic sculpture enclosed in a box, showing a perpetually changing video of a humanoid figure walking through different landscapes. And people described it as the first portrait of a human born in the metaverse. Human One is about the story of the first person sort of like born in the metaverse. Human One was sold at Christie's for $28.9 million to a famous collector, which marked another major success in people's career. This art piece isn't just a static piece, but a living artwork that people can update remotely over time. And people is now considered one of the most influential digital artists in the world. He didn't just break the mold, but he helped redefine what digital art can be through his dedication to the Everyday's project and his innovative use of NFTs, Beeple has shown that digital art can have as much value, if not more, than traditional art forms. 
In 2022, Beeple opened Beeple Studios, a 50,000 square foot space in Charleston, South Carolina, dedicated to showcasing digital art. The studio houses offices, labs, a white wall gallery, and an immersive experiential space where visitors can engage with digital artworks in new and interactive ways. Since its opening, the studio has hosted a variety of events and exhibitions, further cementing Beeple's role as a pioneer in the digital art world. Beeple is planning to continue creating every day until the day he dies. And with the NFTs now offering a way to prove ownership of digital art, the landscape of art has changed forever. And digital art, which was once considered disposable or hard to monetize, is now recognized as a legitimate and valuable medium. Beeple is even working on physical representations of NFTs that combine digital displays with framed, tokenized art. In his view, this is the next evolution of the print, bringing NFTs into the physical world in a tangible way, as he continues to innovate and push boundaries. And Beeple's work is not just a part of the NFT movement, because it is shaping the future of how we experience, buy, and sell digital art in the future. And there you have it. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.